Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I thought I would go over Adobe. So, my call was that this would gap up on earnings, which, which it did. So, this was Thursday night. The stock closed, let's see exact. The stock closed at 88.96. Then the earnings reported, and in the post-market on Thursday, it almost reached 94. Then in the pre-market, Friday morning, it actually went over 94. It's 95 is the number. Let me just see this here. Let me just see. It was close on Friday. 93.65 was the high on Friday, so Adobe really needs to get at 95 and rally over 95 to get going with momentum. And if that happens, it will continue. But I will say I will say this. The stock did gap up. Gap up and made an all-time high on the day on Friday when the market gapped down and fell all day. So I know Adobe was red on the day, even though it gapped up. And there's nothing taking away the fact that it actually did gap up from Thursday night into Friday morning. It still gapped up approximately $3 or thereabouts. That doesn't include the rally it made into the open, but I will tell you that this stock held very strong for the day, considering the fact that the market fell all day. But that is the reason that Adobe did not rally and turn green and hold the green of the live day. But I will tell you at one point, a stock did go green in the day. It went over the open and went green on the day during the time when the market was falling at two o'clock in the afternoon. And I also watch very closely the open On Friday in the first part of the day if you watched Adobe trade in the first five minutes of the day the stock opened did a one minute high and made an all-time high it broke broke the low in here okay which isn't exactly amazing but I'm telling you it really didn't go full-on throttle on the day as a long because of the market but it was a good bullish gap there was nothing taking away the fact this was a nice bullish gap so I'm looking for Adobe to do what I call a continuation gap on Monday, which is tomorrow, meaning follow through green, be green on Monday and rally. But 95 is the number that Adobe has to get up on over and start to get some momentum into it this coming week. So this will, this will have something to do with the market. In other words, if the market gaps up on Monday and Adobe ends up gapping up or holding and rallying on Monday. All of that will look beautiful for Adobe this week. So we'll see what it does. But I predicted it would gap up, it did gap up. Unfortunately, the market gapped down unexpectedly and fell on the day on Friday, and that created Adobe gapping up, making a new high and falling on the day. But it also did one more thing I'll just quickly point out. It set the low of the day at 9.45. That's amazing. So there was a ton of strength in here, and actually this was a long intraday. Adobe was not a short intraday and it was not a it's not a short and long term so there's nothing there's nothing about this chart that is incorrect except for the fact that unfortunately on the day of the earnings on the day after the earnings okay it did not follow through correctly on the actual gap because of the market which sometimes can affect things so we'll see what it does on monday morning have a great day everyone email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you want more information have a great day